Welcome back to Sunshine Teachers Training YouTube channel. I'm happy to have you here today as we explore the last area of Montessori language, the green series. In the past weeks, we have covered the pink series, the blue series and early grammar. And if you missed those videos, I will add those links in the description below so that you can watch them. Before you watch this, it'll help you out. Now, as we get into the green series, this is the first time we are veering away from everything being totally phonetic. We are now introducing the children to what we call phonograms. We describe a phonogram when, and how we describe to children, how we explain it, is when two or more letters sit beside each other to make a new sound. Let me give you an example, okay? I have this phonogram here, all right, and you and I know it makes the sound sh together, right? But for a child who's just come to the pink series and they are totally focused on phonics, they look at this and they read it as s, it doesn't make the sound that we know, so they cannot read a word. So what we do is we break down the, phonic, the phonograms and we introduce it to them one at a time. This is one of the first ones we start with because it's very common and it's one of the easier ones. So we teach them the sandpaper letter, they trace it and we tell them that when you see these two letters sitting beside each other in a word, they will always make the sound sh. And then the next step would be to introduce them to the corresponding box. So here I have the phonogram box for SH let's look and see what's inside again when we introduce this to the child we point out these letters and we tell them when you see these letters sitting beside each other in a word they make the sound sh let's see what we have here okay the kinds of pictures we have are shop we have a sash we have fish we have shed we have brush, we have shelf, and we have dish, and finally, shell. Now what I want you to take note of is everything before or after the phonogram is still completely phonetic. So that means I cannot have a word like shore, okay, S-H-O-R-E because that becomes another phonogram completely. When we teach, we only focus on one phonogram. I cannot have the word show, show me your fingers, because OW is non-phonetic. We know that from the past things we've learned. That becomes another phonogram on its own. So keep in mind, we cannot combine two phonograms or three phonograms in a word. You cannot have the word sheep because we have two phonograms there. One is SH and the other phonogram is EE, all right? When EE sit together in a, words, it may, in a word, it makes the sound E, all right? So only one phonogram at a time. So be very, very careful when you are making this material. Now we have a ton of phonogram boxes. It's impossible for me to list down each of the phonograms for you, but there are many, many that we have. I just want to take you through a few so you get an idea, okay? We have AI. And AI, when these two letters sit together, they make the sound A, such as uh, hair or um, fair, things like that, okay? We have the phonogram OO. When these two sit together in a word, they make the sound OO. Now for double O, we have two sounds. This is a tricky one, okay? Because we have a phonogram one that makes OO, as in pool, cool, tool, uh, food. And then we have the shorter sound that comes in cook and book and good. So when you are making material, you cannot make combine these two. You cannot mix the two up. I have two boxes here for the double O phonogram. Let's see what's inside each so you can know the difference. Okay, I have 
001. It's got a one beside it. Okay. And the kind of words that we have in here are cook and crook. Okay. And we've got book and we have hood. So those, that's the shorter, we call it the shorter O sound, O sound. And then in the second box, all right, and it's written here two, double O, two, we've got words like moon and hoop and zoo and stool and spoon, okay? So I hope this is giving you a clearer idea. It is challenging, it really is difficult, but practice makes perfect. So let's look at some other phonograms that we have. We've also got, oops, I'm upside down, sorry. OA as in boat, goat, toad. We've got UE as in glue. We've got IE as in peace, uh, words like that. We've got that one we did. Let's look at some more. Okay, we've got ER as in her, jerk, um, AU as in hall, mall. We have AR as in car, park, bark. OU, OU as in group, okay? And we've got EE -E as in sleep, meet, we have or as in fork, um, sport, words like that, okay. CH, you know, makes the ch sound, so chat, chimp, uh, chip. TH, thin, this, that, thumb. Qu as in quack, quit. OY, oi, boy toy, alloy, and SH, of course, we covered. Now, there are so many more phonograms. Um, we introduce them to the children in different ways with the word lists. Like I said, it's not possible to list all, but these are the more common ones that children would come across in reading books during preschool. So let's look at the sequence of materials that we use to present the Green Series phonograms to the children. We choose a phonogram, first of all, that we feel uh, is, you know, uh, relatable to the children. We do not go for the more difficult ones like QU and, uh, you know, AW and things like that. We would start with SH or CH, maybe even the double O's or the double E's, because those are very common in the words that children are used to hearing and reading and writing. So we pick that and the first thing we do is the phonogram box that I showed you and matching it to the word tags. They identify the picture and they match it. Then we have a material called the small movable alphabet and the children use this to build words. They make the phonogram in red and they build the rest of the word in black. It works just like previous activities we've done. They're quite used to it, so it comes quite easy. From there, we would then go into word lists. Now, we have one word list for every phonogram or a couple of uh, word lists for each phonogram. We do not mix the phonograms. Each list is dedicated to one phonogram. So if you look at this, it's all CH. Everything here is CH. And the words, like I told you, everything before the phonogram, everything after the phonogram is phonetic. It's a good idea to make your material with the phonogram in red because it really pops out and stands out to the children. Immediately they notice it and they say, okay, this makes ch. So I know it's ch, ik, chick. All right? So you can see the kind of words we have chick, ranch, bench, chimp, rich, ditch, patch, stitch, chest. They are all focusing with one phonogram per word. We don't have the words like chew because vowel and W, E and W is a new phonogram. When they have worked with this particular um, a word list with the, the phonogram you have chosen, then we can take them to the corresponding sentence for that. So we can make a few sentences. I have one sample for you. And this one says, 
the chimp and chick fell in a ditch. The phonogram should appear a minimum of three times in the sentence. You cannot have a sentence that says the chimp is on the mat, okay? Because they're not getting enough practice. We want to have it appear at least three times for the child to be able to get used to that phonogram. Do remember when you make your sentence, don't add another phonogram in there. If your sentence is the chimp and the chick are, are on the bench, you cannot have the chimp, the chick and the sheep are on the bench because that introduces more phonograms altogether. It's really, it, it just requires a lot of focus and attention and to be very, very alert, okay? The final material we teach the children are the phonogram folders. Now these, this is really advanced. By the time the child is doing this, they're already five and a half, nearly six. It's really towards the end of their preschool time. Now these folders, each folder contains lists of words that all make the same sound. We call them phonogra phonogram families. So this particular one that I'm showing you today all the they all make the sound i different phonograms that make the sound i for example we have igh and all the uh, words that have igh will make the sound i such as high bright light might similarly when we have ie okay they can it makes the sound i such as tie pi cried flied Y at the end of a word or Y in a word also makes the sound I such as supply, satisfy, try, typist, spy. I with E at the end also makes the sound I like tribe, strike, life, pride, kite. And finally I on its own the long I in a word makes the sound I such as wild, kind, silent, find. So they're learning about different phonograms that make the same word. You can see now if you've watched all the videos for pink, blue, early grammar and green series how we have taken the children step by step, increased their vocabulary, empowered them with the tools to be able to tackle any word. This is what I love most about Montessori language. They give you all, they equip you, equip you with everything you need to be able to even look at a brand new word and break it down and decipher it and sound it out and figure it out for yourself. So in this way, we really empower the children to become fluent readers and writers. It's a fantastic way to teach children language. If you'd like to learn more, we have short courses focused just on Montessori language, or of course we have the diploma where you can learn everything Montessori. If you'd like to learn more, I'm going to link a video telling you about our courses. You can always leave a comment in the box below and I can fill you in with more information about what we offer and how you can learn more in the field of Montessori. If you've struggled with anything or succeeded with anything in Montessori language, please do tell me about it. I'd love to hear about it so I can help you, so I can celebrate with you as well. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Do hit the bell's notification so that you don't miss a single video because I promise you, I will be back with more. And until we meet again, have a beautiful day.